Welcome to the Roland Pro AV VR1 HD AV Mixer tutorial on the audio features. My name is Justin, and today for our podcast application, I'm joined by Chloe. Hi. In this video, we'll show you how to navigate the level setup menu, set up audio input and output channel and bus effects, including EQ and compression, and import custom sound files into the audio effects section. First, we'll go over the level setup menu. Press the level setup button, and on the monitor output, you'll see the menu appear. Here you can set the levels for the HDMI inputs, which don't have a fader, as well as USB audio coming from your computer, and playback from the sound effects in the audio effects section. You can also add gain to the microphone input preamps, and you have solo and mute functions for all inputs. Next, we will go over the audio effects built into the VR1 HD. This includes an input EQ and compressor, as well as an echo canceller, and an output EQ and limiter. To access the audio input settings, press the menu button and enter the audio input menu. Here you can choose any of your analog or digital audio inputs and edit its settings. For the mic inputs, you can adjust the preamp gain, as well as a digital gain control and the fader level. These are your mute and solo functions, as well as sends for the reverb effect and aux audio bus. To help with synchronization, you can also add a delay to each individual audio channel. If you want a stereo mix, you can pan the audio, and you can also turn on echo cancellation, as well as apply compressor and EQ. We'll cover this in more detail when we move on to the RCS section of this video. You can also engage a high pass filter and load a preset. The presets will give you preset settings for the compressor and EQ to make it easier to dial in your sound. Next, let's adjust the audio output settings. Press the menu button and then choose audio output. From here, you can go into a bus select menu where you can choose whether it's the main audio mix or the aux audio mix for each of the outputs. You can also go into each individual bus and adjust the level, the mute, as well as apply a limiter to the signal or an EQ. Next, I'll show you how to use the free RCS software to adjust the audio effects faster. Chloe, why don't you start your backing track and I'll adjust the audio settings. Sure. In the RCS software, click on the menu button, followed by the audio mixer button. Here you can see a visual audio mixer along with meters for all of your input channels. Note that I have the cameras muted here in the channel strip. Click the setup button for the line input, and here you can see the gain and level settings from earlier, as well as a visual EQ where you can make adjustments to the input audio. You can click and drag the EQ nodes as well as further adjust the settings below. You can also adjust the mic inputs with additional settings. Click the setup button and you can see the gain level settings from earlier as well as an EQ and dynamic section. You can also on the EQ tab load a preset for different conditions. In this case, we're going to use the preset for vocal and make further adjustments. Whenever you're ready, Chloe, you can start singing. Dancing, dancing, dancing on my dreams. With you, with you. Everywhere we go, go, go. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks. Finally, I'll show you how to customize the four audio effects buttons. The default settings are printed on the panel, but you can change them in the menu. Press the menu button, and then go to Audio Effects, and from there, choose the effect that you want to edit. In the case of the voice changer effect, you have access to all these settings to make adjustments to the effect. You can also change the LED color for any of the effects to help you for easier reference. The reverb effect allows you to change the reverb type as well as the length of the reverb and the level in the mix. The remaining effect type is playback. You can load background music or sound effects into it, and here you can choose whether it loops, how the button performs if you want it to latch or be a momentary push, the level of it in the mix, whether you want the clip to loop, and you can set a fade in and fade out for it as well. To import a custom audio file into the VR1 HD, you'll need a USB stick, and you'll need a 24-bit WAV file with a file name of 8 characters or less. 
Once you copy it to the drive, you can put it back into the VR1 HD. And from the menu, go into the audio effects menu, choose the playback effect you want to adjust. And under audio assign, choose USB memory from the list. Here are the WAV files that we imported into this drive. Choose the file that you want to load. And once it's completed, when you press the audio effect button for that, it'll play back. Note that this does not save the file to the VR1 HD. So if you turn off the power and you turn it back on without the USB memory connected, it will not reload the file. Thank you for watching this video on the VR1 HD. And Chloe, thank you for your performance. You're welcome. For more information and additional support, check out the ProAV website and be sure to check out the product knowledge base. Bye.